you need to learn the context when you learn the context it's gonna get better for you you know to learn english so i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief okay good evening everybody if you don't understand something feel free to put it in the comments i will see it directly thing is today we're going to talk about um, english study plan i want to give you a plan that you can use in order to uh, learn english thing is most people should use this because i think if you have a plan you know when you need to learn english i also know what to do in order to learn faster english so first thing first we're going to look at a couple of documents i'm going to show you in the documents why it's important to know how much hour you need to invest in order to learn english and then i'm going to show you how you can do it and i'm going to show you how you can plan your day in in order to learn english and this template you can download it you can just go on a discord drop the um, press the link and you can download the template and you can use it okay if i'm talking too fast put it in the comment if i'm pocket if i'm talking too slow put it also in the comment okay first thing first let's go to the document so you see this is a document and we have four documents this is the important one i think something is wrong with the camera let me look at it again yeah but i need to have a screen share yeah now it's showing the correct camera hopefully everything is okay yeah i think everything is okay yeah okay so this is the document this is the document we're going to discuss today i'm going to show you how you can use it you can download it through the link and uh, at the end of this class you know how to use it so first thing first if you don't understand anything just put it in the comment i will see the comment and i will react on it okay let me put the comment screen here so i can see it so when there's a comment i can see it directly here and i will react on it so this is the document we're going to discuss but first we're going to look at this then we're going to look at this and then we're gonna i'm gonna discuss this with you so you know how much hour you need in order to learn english okay first thing first when you want to learn a different language here in this document you can see how much hour it costs so if you're a native english speaker then these languages are easy to learn it takes like 600 hours to learn these basic languages like spanish dutch swedish portuguese french afrikaans and all the way down but these languages are a little bit difficult to learn so you see here um thai greek hebrew turkish all these languages are difficult to learn if you're a native english speaker and what really difficult to learn is are these languages arabic japanese chinese korean for native english speaker so you see here you need this much hour in order to learn these languages yeah so what you need to think about is okay what is my level when you are learning a language and how much time do i need to invest in order to learn that language that i want to learn in this case is english so here it doesn't say how much time you need here it doesn't say how much time you need in order to learn english but we're going to look at it how much hour you need in order to learn english so this document is helpful if you want to learn other language but here you see learning a new language is not easy it costs time you need to invest a lot of time in it in order to learn it so we're going to go to the third document that's this one and this is important um, because a lot of people do not know what English level they are and a lot of people do not know what English level means level one two and three doesn't mean anything if you go to a company you say you're level one in English doesn't mean anything but if you go to a company and you say my English level is C2 they understand that especially the recruiters so here you have certain kind of levels 
when you're learning a new um, new language here in this document you find what this uh, level means but uh, let me give you a short overview if you're just a beginner you're a1 a2 that means you can communicate english but you cannot write or yeah read anything it's just basic english that's that's the a level and then you have the b level something similar but it's a level higher you can understand here you see the definition of b level if you look at if you compare this with an IELTS score you will say that if you have a six you are at b2 so that means b1 is lower b2 is higher so here you can see the definition if you are if you get a band score of five and six at the ios you're at b2 so it means you are five and six TOEFL is the same it's seven one nine so you see that here it will explain where your level is when you when you look at this let me give you an example how you can use this if you apply for a job and you say my english level is b2 they will understand what your level is in english if it's a professional company if you apply for example multinational think about starbucks or um mcdonald or burger king doesn't matter but um think also samsung they will understand what your level of english is if you put this so you see here band five and six so you see band five and six is b2 and if you look up c1 do we have something here but c no here he should be seven seven if you had seven if you have eyes if you have an ios band seven then you have c1 and here you see ios exam eight and nine you have c2 so you see here you started with a and you go up until c one is lower two is higher so one lower two is higher c is the maximum score that you can have you can use this with every language if you go to europe if you go to america or canada and you use this they will understand what your level of english is so if you have an ios band score eight or nine it will be a c2 and c1 so this is how it works most of the time when you begin you started with a and you grow up some people that speak daily english are in b1 and b2 so it's okay for them so this is the level and this document you can also download in the discord you can read it you can copy it like you can copy this put it in google translator and translate it if you don't understand what it means it's that simple so this is the level so we have level a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 and c2 so just remember level one two three doesn't say anything this says something yeah so english language levels so let's look at uh, how long it takes you to learn english so you see this document this is a research how long it takes for a person to learn english but also a person to learn a um, language that they do not know so if you're a total beginner it takes longer if you're not a beginner it will be shorter i'm going to show you in this document how long it's going to take you to learn english so how much hour you need to invest in order to learn that english let me look at the comments before i go to the next document let's see if we don't have anything so that's good everything is okay let's go back i need to fix the camera for the next time so you see here um in this document when you download it, you can read all those things i'm not going to read it everything's with you but uh, let's go down here they will explain everything so that's good but the main important part i high mark i highlighted it so you can understand it the most important part is this if you're learning a new language you need to have an environment where you can learn the language an english house is a good way to practice your english when you go to english house you have an environment where you can practice english with other foreign teacher but 
you're also forced to speak english if you just learn english at home it can be it's easy but you don't get the experience of learning how to use a set kind of words and you see that a lot with new people when they come in they know some words but they are not used to how to use the words or how to use it in different kind of situation different kind of context and that's bummer so let's look at it yeah the most important part of this book is this part so you see here page number 10 this document you can download it. just go on a discord you'll find the link in the description go on discord you can download the link if you don't see the link just send me a message and you can download it so here you need to see a couple of things let's see if i can use this yes i think i can use this yeah here we are talking about adult learners so these are grown up people 18 years and older yeah here we're talking about secondary so teenagers normal people see that here teenagers here we're not going to talk about this so for children if you want to know more about these things or you have a child that want to learn english feel free to contact me i will see what i can do for you or, con or contact the english house they can help you with helping your child to learn english faster or not so we are not going to talk about this but if you're interested in this just ask the english house they can explain this to you so um i also we're not going to talk about this in this live stream in our live stream we'll talk about that but i highlight some things that are important so you can know yeah but what important is is this if you're a teenager or if you're grown up how much time does it take for you to learn english you see here we talk about the levels see the level c2 c1 b2 b1 a2 you see if you start here if you're a beginner and you want to go up you have to count every hours here so it's not only 400 hours you need to be 400 plus 300 and all the way down that much hours are going to take you to go up if you are at b2 it's telling you if your goal is to go to c2 you need this much hour you understand how the document works simple but if you're going to start from the beginner so if you're a beginner beginner and you want to go to b1 let's say i want to go to b1 it's going to cost me this much hour if i'm beginner and i want to go to c2 it's going to cost me this much hour you see where i'm going with this with this document you can see how much hour it's going to cost you to learn certain kind of levels so if your goal is to get this level and you ask yourself what does this level mean you just go to this document and you should see two this is level if you look at ielts it's eight and nine see the difference doesn't matter which um which course you take it's just the highest score sorry about that so you see that here here so you see that here here they're telling you how much hour you need to invest in order to learn it if you go is this you're asking yourself okay um alex i do not know what my goal is or i do not know what the best thing is to do i do not know what my level is and i do not know where to go the thing is what you need to do is if you in order to let's say in order if you want to know where you are with english you can test your level there are a lot of tests out there i will put some of them on the discord so you can see or you can contact me i will show you some tests that you can do in order to know what your level is sometimes you will be b2 sometimes you will be b1 and you just need to get higher sometimes you are a1 sometimes you are a2 but the thing is if you need to establish your goal there are two things that you need to do if your goal is just to speak with native speaker or just to speak english with uh, native sp um, speakers b2 is okay so here it's okay 
if your goal is to use English in order to speak with other people or write with other, um, write and reading and listening, it's important to have C1 and C2. When you do that, you are prepared for your work environment. So when you go to work, you know how to write English, you know how to speak English, you know also listen and whatever. But the thing is, there are two things that you need to consider. What do you want? Do you want to just speak with other people, speak English with other people, know how to understand those people? Or do you want to use English for your work or other things? Those things are important. If you are going to use English for your work, then you need to go to C1 and C2. It's just for speaking and uh, listening, go to B1 and B2 and you're good to go. So you see here, based on these things, you know how much hour you need. If you're going to start from the beginner, you need to look here. If you already know your level, you just need to go from here up. It's that simple. What is the level? You see that here. See, I think they forget to put seven here from IELTS, but seven is C1. And I have, I, yeah. If you have an IELTS five or six, most time you are B2. You can talk English with other people, but sometimes it's difficult for you to write or um, read English so yeah and then we have um, B1 as IELTS band 4 and this doesn't apply so we know how much hours gonna cost and these are some extra tips that you can use how much hour you need to spend per week or other things when you need to follow a course if you follow a course we will tell you how much hour you need and how much hour you need to invest in learning certain kind of things in order to learn English. But more about that later. So you see here, this is for adult. If you are an adult, based on this, um, based on this, it's for you. If you are an adult, this gives you a clear picture how much hour you need in order to learn English. And I'm not saying it's going to work for you. I'm just saying this is giving you an image a clear view how much hour you need some people do not know how much hour they need and later you're going to see why that's important if you're a teenager it's easy for you to sometimes to learn the language because most time you have free time and sometimes you're also motivated to learn english so you need to look at this teenager uh, 15 until 20 19 yeah so you can look at this how much hour you need and here the same story a1 a2 b1 b2 so here we see how much hour you need we're going to look at the document and based on the document i'm going to show you some things that you can use so let's go to the document when you press the link for study plan you download this document this is a pdf version when you download it, you download excel version that means you can edit yourself. I cannot edit this right now because this is a PDF. Yep. And let me look at. Uh, yeah. So this is a PDF. Yeah. So you see here. Yeah. Typo. Um, okay. So you see here this document. And like I said, if you go is just speaking. You can put it here. So what's your goal? Speaking. Just getting the speaking skills or B1 or B2 or C1, C2. You can put it all in here. How much hour do you need to invest? If it's only speaking, you need this much hour. Depends where you start, but I think you need this much hour. If you're going to B1 and B2, you need a lot more hours. Like I said, in the document, you see how much hour and this is just an example. Yeah. So, why is the hours important? You need to, when you're learning English, you need to figure out, okay, where am I going to start and what I'm going to start first. If you focus only on speaking, these two things are important. Let me change it for you so you can understand what I mean. Focus only speaking, these two things are important. Yeah, technically three let's say it here these two things are important vocabulary and speaking listening you do it automatically 
but if you go is c1 and c2 everything is important let me remove this everything is important because you need to practice all those things so we have reading and writing speaking listening all the things are important the thing is the more you speak the more you practice your listening skills so that's why only those two are important vocabulary speak one and one how can you so how do you practice how you how do you um, plan your week in just think about this if you need to learn vocabulary let me change this if you need to vocabulary that's an important one you need to develop that first i made a video about this how you can improve your vocabulary during the live stream i'll show you how you can improve your vocabulary by learning like 100 words per day in order to improve your vocabulary let me tell you one thing you just need around 1000 4000 words in order to start speaking because if you look at the daily conversation you only use 500 words and use that a lot and most people do not see that and most people when they're learning english they are learning difficult words well they never use that word i see that a lot with some students of mine and i tell them keep it simple try to figure out in this situation what can you say and what can you not say that's simple so like i said if you're looking for speaking these two things are important increase your vocabulary and talk more one-on-one -on -one with other people it can be with your teacher it can be with your friend doesn't matter the more you talk with people the better you're going to improve your speaking skills if you go is c1 c2 or b1 b2 you need to do a little bit more you need to listen do more reading and writing look some things online practice 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 so how can you do this if I'm with you, I just plan this in like this, 17 hours, 45 hours, 45 hours, 70 hours, 70 hours. And how can you do that? We just plan this much hour, how much you're going to practice. It can be one month. Say one month is for communication. can also be three months for communication. Depends how much time you have. But if you want B1, B2 or C1, C2, you need more. You need more time because you, have, you also have more hours. And what you need to do is think about it. Okay. If I have 150 hours to just learn speaking. Yeah. Let me change it to something better. T. So if I have 150 hours, think about it. I use 70 for vocabulary 45 for speaking and 45 for listening if i'm correct i should be 150 let's see 90 that's, that's around 160 hours but you can use this in order to get 150 hours let's say let's put this to 160 so i can use this 70 for vocabulary speaking one-on-one -on -one with the teacher 45 hours and listening 45 hours and then it will be around 155 on the 50 or 160 hours is that simple that's how you calculate it and when you need to look at it is this your day look like this if you have a calendar a google calendar it look like this and if you look at the document you get up around here depends who you are but most of the time people get up around here go to work they come back home around here sometimes they come back home at around here and they follow a line class it can be at the english house or it can be whatever you are you i i see that you don't see this in the document let me ah, that's better when they come home, they come around 5, 6 home, and sometimes they have an evening class. It can be um, with a teacher, it can be at the English house, whatever. But those are things, that, those are moments that you can practice English. And if you plan this correct, you can save a lot of time, but you can also see when you are investing time to learn English and when not. And when 
are you focusing on speaking when are you focusing on reading and when you're focusing on listening or writing because that's important so if i'm only learning speaking in the morning i will practice vocabulary i will stand up half an hour early or one hour early and practice vocabulary in another video i will show you how you can practice 100 words a day easily in one hour or 20 minutes so i will stand up early and practice that and i will also look some things on for um, look some english videos one hour so around one and a half hour two hours i'm practicing english in the morning and then in the evening i will focus on speaking that's if i want to go from a beginner level to let's say a1 a2 b1 b2 but if i want to put some reading and writing i need to put more hours into it so let's say two hours here but in the evening i need to also focus on reading listening and speaking so two hours in the morning and around two hours three hours in the evening most people don't see that but these are hours that you're investing so if i invest every day two hours it's going to be 14 hours in one week right and here this is 14 hours only in the morning eh? here if i'm investing two of three hours in the evening it will be 21 hours at the end of the week you see here we have let's say 35 hours in one week just one week 35 hours and imagine four weeks understand what i mean so what i'm trying to say is getting to 150 hours is easy but you just need to give you have to have a commitment if you practice every day three hours like one hour speaking and other two hours reading and writing and in the morning vocabulary and listening you can easily get to those hours the thing is planning is easy so if you think okay i don't have time in the morning i will do it at 10 o'clock or i don't have time around here i will do it in the um, lunch period the thing is as long as you plan it it's good and as long as you keep it it's also good the thing is sometimes you see people they plan things a lot but they do not keep it so what you need to do is you need to track yourself that's the most important part of this so if you say okay let's say these are two weeks 28 why do i have 28 i don't remember why i have 28 but he should be ah yeah no it's not 28 it's longer yeah you see this is three months day 90 here we have day 30 and we have 60 around here you see here every day for everything you do so for example if you practice vocabulary in the morning you didn't do it zero listening you did it x speaking you didn't do it zero reading why you didn't do it do it because at the end of every 30 days you can see oh i practiced this i practiced that but i didn't practice this a lot but i practice this a lot and you can also see what works for you and what doesn't work and it's important to put a date of the day in here because you know on that day i practice this on that day i practice that is that simple because planning is one thing but keeping track of it nobody does that but if you do that you see at the end of the month hey i can do this i can do that but this didn't work or it did work and it helps me a lot so if you keep track of something it will help you a lot so this is the document when you download it you can fill it in this is a pdf i cannot fill it in because uh, i didn't install excel on this computer so let's recap when you're learning a language you need to invest a lot of hours especially if you're not a native english speaker and also depends what kind of language you are learning in this case we are learning english and it's important to know how much hour you need to invest and you see that in this document so first you need to determine what your level is and where you're going to 
are you level one level a1 and you want to go to b2 or c2 you need to figure out why and how much hours you need to invest in it and you can see that in this document see this document start how long does it take to learn a foreign language it's that simple cambridge university press and you see so this is legit so you can read it and here at the end of you can see how mu how much longer it's going to take you to learn it the thing is you can download this document on discord or you can ask the english house for this document they will give you if you have question about this document just uh, send the english house and um and uh, your question or ask me on discord whatever you want but with this video i just wanted to show you how you can plan and invest your time good in order to learn english thing is you see a lot of people when they learn english they do not they don't have a plan if you go in without a plan it's not going to work i can guarantee you that because you're learning what people are teaching you but it doesn't mean you will remember it you see some people practice some words but they do not use it and i'll be like okay why did you practice that i'm not going to say you will um not remember it i'm not going to say you will forget it i'm just saying you need to know sometimes when you're using some words and when not in this live stream will show you a lot of things example with idioms yeah in the next live streams i will show you a lot of things with idioms where you can use this and where you cannot use that so you can see that learning words is not enough you need to learn the context when you learn the context it's going to get better for you you know to learn english so that's about it for this live stream yeah if you have question put it in the comment i can see it right here and i will try to answer as soon as possible so i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be great